What's up guys, it's Brown again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. I actually had a gentleman give me a call this week and he had a little bit of concern about his turn knob on his valve not engaging the stem in behind it. And I'm going to show you what actually causes that. Now, to remove this turn valve, the good news is you can actually do this at home if you have the proper tools. And all that you're going to need is a slotted screwdriver or if you have some type of hex nut in there, you're going to need the proper tool to remove that nut. Now, looking at a valve itself, the other good news is you don't have to drain the air out of the cylinder to fix this problem. All you're going to do is simply remove the nut that's up inside the turn valve. This one here happens to be a slotted nut. Now once it's out of there, I usually leave mine in as a whole unit, simply put my finger over it and I should be able to pull the turn knob off. Now let me show you why I put my finger over it. It's because up inside here, not only is there a nut, there's also a little spring and you don't want to lose that spring. In behind there, there's usually either on the post itself or up inside, there'll be a little spacer washer. Now, don't lose that washer as well. But we're going to go ahead and replace it. I can kind of do a quick visual inspection here to make sure that the stem's good. It's not being anything like that. But what's causing the turn knob to slip and not actually engage the stem, as you can see, there's plenty of flat spots on the stem. It's up inside the turn knob itself. And basically that piece of metal in there, that square piece of metal that you see here, that cutout, has actually stripped. And what it's doing is just sitting there turning on it. So you're going to throw this away, get you a brand new turn knob for it, and then simply replace it. Make sure that your spacer's in place. You're going to simply put your turn knob up, or your wheel if you will, until it engages. There you can see it's engaged. It's not turning left or right. I'm going to re simply replace the spring. And then I'm going to set that little nut back up in there. Now, it takes a little bit of force here to compress the spring, but we're simply going to compress the spring, turn the nut till it engages to the stem. It takes about two or three times here. Once it's engaged, then you can simply screw the nut down. There it's engaged. Now I can simply screw it down just until the post or the stem is flush with the top of that nut. You don't have to go any tighter than that because there is going to be tension from the spring itself. So once the stem head has become flush with the top of the nut, you're good to go. Now I can simply engage and disengage the stem or open and close the cylinder. But guys, that's how simple it is to replace this turn knob in the event that you lose that connection or you're unable to engage the stem to turn your tank on and off. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, simply put it down in the comment section below. If you like this video and want to see a little more technical-based videos like this, simply hit that like button or that thumbs up button for me. But uh, guys, as always, check back each week for new videos. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.